Like millions of others, Bill Brown started out as just a fan of the Hunger Games. I go to see a movie every week, so I was that was my Friday night movie. He came here to the Largo Mall opening night not realizing that he'd actually have a small part in the Hunger Games. About 30 minutes in, he noticed this piece of chocolate with its signature dots. That's when he thought, wait a second, that's my chocolate. He's seen the blockbuster five times just to make sure, and he even found two more of his pieces in the movie. Three of the chocolates were definitely there, and they're actually in four snippets or scenes that you can actually see them. Unfortunately, the trailers don't show the scene where the main characters Katniss and Peter are heading on the train to the Capitol and laid out our scrumptious desserts on a tray, prominently featured in a supporting role, William Dean Chocolates. They're really distinctive colors, especially the lemongrass and coconut. It's green, yellow, it's got a brown chocolate stripe that we put on it. It's a unique mold. The film's food stylist confirmed to our partner paper, The Times, that some of the foods used in the movie were bought at a Charlotte, North Carolina store where William Dean chocolates are sold. But they're all handmade inside this small store in Bel Air Bluffs. We had Brown show us how the now world famous lemongrass and coconut treats are made. We don't paint the chocolate, we paint the mold. It's a reverse process. First, the dark chocolate stripe is squeezed out. So it's abstract, it's not, they're not all the same. Then the molds are taken to be airbrushed. What is used is colored cocoa butter. Two different shades of green and yellow. And this is gonna give it a little more depth. After that hardens, white chocolate is used to create a thin crust. Then a lemongrass and coconut mixture is poured inside and cooled. You then have the littlest and arguably tastiest movie prop. So what does all this exposure mean for William Dean Chocolates? Affirmed that what we're doing here you know, trying to make little pieces of art. Actually, um, somebody else interpreted it the same way. Already, the treats are stars, people coming to experience a small part of the movie with their taste buds. Very special to eat something from the movie. We wanted to just check it out, see how it really tastes. But Brown has a spoiler alert about the difference from his chocolates in the store to the ones on the silver screen. The difference is you don't have to kill anybody here to get the chocolates. In Pinellas County, Jonathan Petromala, Bay News 9.